Okay, so my pulleys have arrived. This is what it looks like. So, some instructions. And this is it. Okay, let's go put them to work. So here I'm just setting up to pull the tree with, uh, I'm wrapping a chain around the part that I'm going to attach the pulleys to. I want to wrap it around a couple of times so it doesn't uh, slide up the tree. And here I am attaching the pulleys. And they're there. And then I will thread the rope through. So this first setup, I'm setting up a 4 to 1 pulley system, and that will be in compound with a 5 to 1 pulley system. So I will have a 20 to 1 at the end of it to see if I can pull out this tree. And here is the primary anchor point. And here is the pulley that gets attached to the primary anchor point. And I'll be using a coupling to uh, attach that to the chain on the tree. Right there. So here's the system of the setup. There's the base of the tree, and then here's the two pulleys attached to the tree and the chain. So you can see there's four ropes there, so that gives me four tensions. And there's the anchor point. And here is the rope coming off of the first pulley system. And that is going to the second pulley system, which is a 5 to 1. And there's the secondary anchor tree right there. So here I'm just testing it and it's pulling on the tree and so then to actually do a real pull I tie a bowline so that I'm using my legs uh, mostly for pulling and not my arms So here I was able to break a few limbs, that's not really what I was going for. I wanted to pull out this stump. And after working at it for a while, I realized that I wasn't going to make the progress that I wanted to with this setup.
and I certainly did try. So I decided I needed to go for a little more mechanical advantage. I found another pulley that my dad brought to me a couple weeks ago and I hooked that up as well making the primary system a 5 to 1. So here I'm getting all set up now with the 5 to 1 multiplied by 5 to 1 which gives me 25 to 1 and I've also tied a rope to the tree that I can pull on so I can get better traction on the beauty bark I was standing on. Okay, now I was able to break another limb that uh, still wasn't what I was going for. So then I got out my pick and I dug around the stump some. And here is me trying after digging around the stump with a pick. And that still didn't have the desired effect. So then I wedged a large piece of concrete underneath the base of the trunk and here I am pulling with that. And what that gave me was a twisting motion so it was a different kind of leverage along with the pulleys and that worked pretty well. It broke a lot of roots, but it also pulled a lot of roots out. And you'll notice that uh, none of this stuff is fast, right? As you're... because I'm pulling this by hand, you know, every every movement of the tree is me pulling on it, uh, which takes work. So that's kind of the the way I wanted it. I was committed to the principle of pulling this thing out by by mechanical advantage and my own strength. Looking back on it, if I was trying for efficiency, I would have just rented an excavator and dug it out. So here I've repositioned the piece of concrete to make it easier to pull on the tree. And then here I've moved the concrete out of the way altogether because it was starting to just get in the way. So here I just am checking to see if the stump is all the way clear. 
and it's still attached to a few roots. So here's me pulling the last of it, and now it's loose. And now I'm just taking down this, the mechanical advantage system that has served me well for pulling out this tree. Making sure I collect all the pieces. So I think I mentioned this before, there's, there's something satisfying about using levers and pulleys and your own strength to to exert way more force on something than than you could just by pulling on it with your your hands and arms. It's clear that if I were going to do this a lot, I would need more pulleys. And I would probably get into some higher cost pulleys, so I didn't have to worry about it. These ones I have to hook them up in such a way that they're not, not all attached to the same anchor point, so they don't break something. And here I am, cutting up the tree for firewood. I like using this electric chainsaw because it's so much easier to maintain than a gasoline chainsaw. And it works pretty well as long as I can reach anything I want with my extension cord. Well folks, that's it. I finally was able to pull out this tree uh, with mechanical advantage system. And I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. It, uh, it was a lot of work, but I persisted. Thanks for watching.